Happy holidays. Happy the liberals holidays. ruined Christmas. The liberals ruined Christmas. <laughs> they literally did. We went to Target before this to get like decorations and the minimalism throw up that was all over that Target was really, it's really scary. far too much. Our like, children are going to grow up depressed. Bring back red and green Christmas. Yeah. What happened? Why no is more it beige. gray and beige and white? Like I've had a fucking enough. A beige Christmas. Have, enough. have a beige Christmas. Everything was like woody and gray and nasty and like sad. I saw, I saw this like garland that was like, like supposed to be like hung up on the walls and shit, and it was just wooden balls. And like I almost threw up. It's supposed to be like rainbow ornaments. Okay. Well, because you know who took the rainbows mm. from us, so we don't get to use that anymore. Yeah, the they rainbows. have to save all their rainbow paint for July or is it June? June. You wouldn't know. Okay. You wouldn't know. Wow. <laughs> Got it. Um, if you're wondering why Drew looks like that, it's because he doesn't know how to wear that. I grew my beard out, Yeah, y'all. And we bleached it with splat, so it's never going back to normal ever again. Is, it supposed to, is my nose supposed to be covered? No, your no, nose is not supposed to be covered not. with the fucking mustache. <laughs> when you took that picture earlier, I was like, why does it look like shit? And it's because it's like all the way up to my eyes. It is like the cheapest thing I think I've ever seen yeah, like on the planet. No, it's fully brick. Um, you should just gorilla glue it like that girl did with her wig. Oh yeah. yeah, and then you you won't have to worry about it slipping and sliding. We were talking with Rain. Thank you, Rain, for letting us use your house. It's gorgeous. Your gorgeous You're house because our kitchen person. corner is scary. Shout out Rain. Shout out Rain. Um, but we um were talking about like the girl that gorilla glued her hair down. <laughs> like, and Rain was like, "Bro, like, how did she think this was the gorilla snot? Like, it literally looks like fucking glue." Also, it like burns like anytime you get super glue or something on your skin you have like a chemical reaction it literally like t Wait, starts is there to like cat burn whisker right here is there a what oh i thought this was a cat whisker never mind she doesn't have a cat i know i thought it was left whisk? here from the past people or it and fell were off you one of our keep clothes it? yes i've been keeping azul's whiskers really i, I never three. see his whiskers around. i found three and two in the last two days He's oh really God, stressed he's out. Balding. He's losing his. <laughs> he's, he's losing, losing his, his fucking whisker. grip. Why are his whiskers falling out? Um, but yeah, how did she not know? Because like anytime I've gotten super glue on my fingers, it burns. Like yeah. it literally burns so fucking bad. Like our like animal bodies know immediately that that shouldn't be on our skin. So yeah. how did she like put it all over her forehead? I literally um, was gluing together like a uh, a failed 3d print like i was trying to like piece it back together oh wait we literally showed it in the last episode yeah. i was trying to glue the arm back onto that print and um let me take this shit off because it's like actually itching my nose um it's <laughs> like it's straight up asbestos <laughs> like it's fucked up it's um, drywall what's yeah, the thing you fill walls with uh, it's fiberglass yeah, it's you had to take off your fiberglass beard um but i was like gluing the arm back on that figurine and like I dripped like fucking five or six drips of the super glue onto my middle finger and ring finger. And it literally started smoking. <laughs> and I thought like just I, I didn't think anything of it. But then like I like tried to wipe it off really quick because I was like, I've had super glue on my fingers. It's not yeah. that deep. I used to glue my fingers together and pull them apart because it like felt good. Like that is like not normal. I know someone has fucking I used to done do that. Yeah, that's that's no with like normal. Elmer's glue or something. But he said he did super glue. The, I, oh, it's with super fun. Glue? It's fun. Like it doesn't. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh yeah, that's really God, weird. Y'all are ops. Y'all are now officially the op. Like, um, <laughs> y'all are now officially bestowed as the op. Yeah, but <laughs> I didn't think anything of it. But gorilla glue started smoking. Like, and it literally like it was like a almost like a smoke ring. It like. Like, it blew up and smoked up, and I was like, oh, wow, like, I'm literally going to die. And then I just had, like, super glue fingers for, like, three days, but I read online, just, like, keep it moisturized, and, you and know, I keep away. that shit moisturized, like... Um, no, I used your Byrito, um Rose hand cream. Oh, the oiliest cream you on the planet. You don't like that. 
I do, but I like have this problem with like I'm, all like, my nice creams out of my because mouth. because my like skin is so dry. I usually only put it like on my arms and hands because the rest <laughs> of my body absorbs cream so fast that like I would need to go through that whole fucking tube uh, to yeah. moisturize my body. And then I'm like, I get to smell good for one night and one night only. You know who else's body absorbs uh, cream really fast? Yours. No, Drew's. because you're ran through and you okay. let everybody like. Kai was sitting on the couch on you. Yeah, he was sitting on the couch uh-huh. earlier talking about how he can easily fit a tennis ball up his butthole. He can just sit on Dude, it and it pops up. You know how some people are like, "Oh my god, I, I like I don't want anybody to on me because like the mix of water and I'm like is really gross, ew, nasty." Ew. Kai literally is always like, "That doesn't matter because it just seeps in." It's like care. he's like a sham wow. I'm but only for Okay, okay, okay. Too much. <laughs> too much, okay, too much, okay, okay, okay. This is a Christmas episode. It's supposed we to be wholesome. We can bleep that. We can bleep that. We can bleep that. It's supposed to be wholesome. Y'all better be watching this on the living room TV with your whole family around you. Oh, literally. I bet there is a family out there that <laughs> listens together. Yeah, but that's the same family Hello. that in like the 2000s would do a wife swap and they were like the hippies. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. they were like, we believe in peace. But like, and we th- love you. Now we're those families intake of We like, love you. Media. Um, But. Did y'all okay? We, I have to co- go back to this because I was like, I wanted to talk about it, but we got sidetracked. But did y'all ever do this? And I'm being dead fucking serious. I'm not even like making this a bit. Like this is something I used to do. But I would sit on the stairs at my house and I would grab like a needle and stick it under the oh, first layer yeah, of yeah, my yeah. skin. Okay, good. Because yeah. I yeah. yeah, and then I would like. I think every pull kid did that once they realized they have like eight million layers of skin and, and it, it won't hurt. hurt. Okay, but then good. every time you pinched yourself and it fucking hurt, you were like fuck. Like yeah. and then you would just when leave it alone. Like you wouldn't try hard. again. You'd make like a little blood blister. On under there um okay and well, then you would bite the blood blister no i never did that hell no. i did that hell no i would um, do that i would make it bust okay well keep going because he's getting really weird we've let him get away with too much already this episode so just being uncomfortable drew you've upset him drew was seeing like figures before the episode started. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think that was a real person. I think it literally was like probably I know. Rain's reflection. Drew came over to us while we were all sitting at a box eating because Rain like just got her crib. So it's actually so cute. It's like in the beginning stages where you're like eating on top of boxes so you're not like hurting your back. And we were all sitting watching TikToks and Drew came over. He was like, there were there was someone outside. There were uh they t- they took a picture and they they left and like I was talking and his <laughs> face went white. I swear, I swear. There's a ghost. Well, it's because his hypoxia. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Severe brain damage. He's not the um, the quickest he's ever been with his brain. It's literally it's from the 3D (laughs) printer gases that are like fucking my shit. Yeah, Drew's still sleeping in my bed. Oh yeah, we we're gonna do it again tonight. Like a little farewell, like a goodbye. Like I was thinking about that. We haven't like hung out other than like fucking working, which is annoying as fuck. Well, that's I don't like hanging out with you. Oh. So hanging out with you while we work is already enough. And I'm like, whew, I need a detox. I d- have you been realizing I I'm do okay. a juice cleanse every time we finish working? No, I know. Because I need to that. cleanse my body. Oh my God. And I'll I probably go know. get like um Can we a just lymphatic drainage massage after this. Can we just move on? Yeah, I mean, sure. Um, so it's officially <laughs> over for me. Okay. Like I'm down tremendously bad. Like it's so over. Like it's not even what chill. happened. Twenty three and me was hacked and they have my fucking data. They have all of my data. They have all of What it. is the data on there that's like so important if Literally, they have? My entire if he's genome. White. <laughs> my entire genome. But what does that even mean? Like, Bitch. if somebody, it's like, oh my God, someone knows my blood type. Auga, auga, call we the police. We are literally three decades away from like cloning human beings. Like, they are going to literally clone me. Bitch, you're already pushing 30. You're not getting cloned. <laughs> <laughs> they want the young people. They don't in three decades and thirty years. You're I'm in my fucking prime. Six. I'm in my fucking prime. <laughs> you are in your prime. If now, I was but in the in three NBA, decades, no one is gonna want to clone somebody who's like fifty six years old. No, they're, be they're like, cloning my. They're cloning my prime DNA. Uh, Hello. I guess, yeah. And also, the telomeres have nothing to do with it. What the challenge. fuck is telomeres? Kai. No, do not. Oh, don't. We don't. Okay, I, we can move on. It's the strands in your DNA that shows your biological age. Yeah. No. Oh. Okay. And you know what's crazy about the telomeres? What? Is when you eat a bunch of sugar, your glycogen levels 
Kai, take it away. Okay, so no. when you eat sugar, basically your telomeres shorten, and that basically means you're going to die soon. Mm. So you shouldn't eat sugar. Yep. Just okay, eat vegetables. Okay, so literally all of y'all are going <laughs> to die because we all just ordered fucking candy not right me. before yeah, we started no, this. No, literally we not me. A hell of candy. All no, you I did eat not. is candy. Insert what Drew had for dinner last night. This motherfucker is dying. <laughs> I will say I had a bite of his famous bowl and it was fucking yummy. The famous yeah. bowl from KFC will always be good, even yeah. though it like actually tastes like i just ate a bunch of cans and like rations in a basement also, you it's didn't really good. just have a bite I had you two had or three. the <laughs> entire okay, quarter I did of not it have, hold on hold on you had a quarter bowl. of it and then you went and made fun of my fucking uh chicken wrap with macaroni and cheese on no, the inside that I of it no i didn't make fun of it because i kept begging i was begging for a bite of that because he told me when he described it at first i was like that sounds awful and then when he got there i was like wait this might be fucking yummy. So that was my dinner was a few bites of Drew's um, catastrophe Slut. dinner. Oh, okay. And you're a hoe. Oh, did I have like, Yeah, you had like a hanging little like face. pube. Um, okay, wait. Uh, wait, I was, I was a little bit curious about, you guys mentioned that Josiah was on American Idol. Yeah. Is there footage of that? No. No, he didn't make it through. Oh really? There's like four tryout rounds before you can even be on TV, and they so just like didn't all fuck the people who energy. suck on American Idol, they literally were like, "This is gonna be good." This we're is gonna be go funny, through, which is oh, so shit. psychological torture, evil. Damn, it's Squid I thought Game. there was like footage. No, bitch! If, if there was footage, we would have that shit on lock. Yeah, that would yeah, be on my. True. I would. That would be my first story highlight on it, my Instagram page. I was page. gonna say I would post it on my story every other day, like Josiah <laughs> flopping on fucking American that got talent. American that got talent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Should we say what our stockings stand for? Oh, I didn't. I got remember one for that. Drew because they didn't have an E. Yeah, and I got one for QAnon. Q, if you're listening, <laughs> <laughs> that was a sign from Q. <laughs> oh my fucking Why god! Why did you think you could yank that and it wouldn't fall? Can you suck my balls? <laughs> yeah, I like, would. Do that. Do that challenge. What does yours stand for? Uh, mine stands for hole for Drew's hole. <laughs> Butthole. Then- Butthole. We got X for Kai because he's the X factor. Oh, you got one for no, me? No, because we want to X him out of our lives, but oh. we don't know how yet. So See, we're thinking about it. I got it because I was like, it's the X factor. And then you said that shit. That, that is why he said we should I get for Kai because he has factor. the X factor. That's so sweet. I didn't know that was for me, guys. I'm yeah. actually blushing. Yeah. You guys but see how see it's on smaller? Camera, but I'm because you will, you will never be. Because I'm small, or QA I'm non. small and I'm delicate. Because he's really petite and delicate. Because you're so tiny. And tiny. I'm super delicate. Yeah. Did you guys know my waist size is uh, eight. 24. 24. It's eight now. No way. Yeah, it's eight. How Holy are you fuck. alive? I don't know. I don't even think there's babies who are in eight. Nasty, drinking fucking boob milk and then all you the see time. You think Drew you're so a fucking baby. special. <laughs> Dude, you are the ugliest fucking baby. I'd be I would so ginormous. pissed if I had two of them. You know what's crazy is my mom literally loved us and thought we were cute. Mm-mm. Like she saw that's the that, pictures that's of That's that us. mother disease. She, Moms yeah. always think their babies are cute and they're... Some I think it, it, there like, is like a word for it. I don't. We delusion. Won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but what it have is. you seen the baby picture? No. It's crazy. He's disgusting. I bet if you look up Drew Phillips' baby, you can find it. Yeah, dude, you like somehow came out of the womb looking like you were being held in an air fryer or dehydrator. No, like, it was crazy. It you was were crazy. like when you put Skittles in a dehydrator. That's I, what you I, look I, like as a baby. I like puffed up out the sides <laughs> like a macaron. No, it's crazy. Like I literally looked. <laughs> Yeah, that's not even the picture we're talking about. That was like Dude, you, I you settled need to see into his headshot. It. But the, what's crazy is like, he my got head, that headshot. Wait, Sabrina, send that to oh, Kai. That the head like is way so long. Better than that other one. It's so long. That one's not, but the other one you got body. I look unhealthy. Like, Dude, what's look, crazy is they posed them up, so that was probably the best picture. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, that like was a few days after about. I settled into like my skin disease that I was born with. <laughs> um, but okay. I'll show you. While that one pops up, I do want to talk about... Um, don't read my fucking notes. These are all supposed to be surprises. Oh, well, I'm trying to see if you get a text. Um, I want to see who's texting you. Okay, and if a fucking text I was text actually so up, jealous in bed last night. I was like, I fell asleep right before one. And Drew was getting one. texts that's all night. You see it. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's the alien fucking baby. You're like baby. gasping for air. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, I have no right. I was big and they greedy. They gave him peanuts too you know early and they didn't realize he was fucking allergic. So what's he was crazy just bloated. was I like literally was big and greedy in their womb and Madeline was like three quarters of the size of me. Or no, like one quarter of the size of me. She was like this big and I was just like this ginormous fucking hunk of meat. Like I was a giant baby. The um, What were you saying? Wait, what were you saying? You look. I was gonna say you look less moisturized than those aliens that we found. <laughs> what do you mean? Sh- Y'all didn't find aliens. Oh. Ignore him. He's 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 breaking. You didn't want to reveal that on this episode that we okay, found aliens. The Mexico aliens. Kai, me and Kai found. found them. It was and us. Delivered it to him because they gave us the best deal. <laughs> yeah, they gave us the best deal. <laughs> like for the what? bodies. <laughs> no, no, dealer. he's right. He's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. What were you saying, though? Girl, I don't know. You were jealous of me. Oh, you were getting... Okay, that, that's why you fucking remember. <laughs> you are crazy. Something is wrong with you. But he was getting texts, like, all through the night. But then I did look over, and it was family group chat, so I didn't care. Oh, and you're jealous. Mm-mm. No, you're jealous as fuck. Because people love me. Because I thought you had bitches People want to communicate up. with me. I'm just a pleasant person to talk to. Mm. Mm-hmm. I haven't responded to my family group chat in months because I'm the black sheep, and I, everything I say is just weird. <laughs> <laughs> everything i say is weird um okay but if everything genuinely everything if it goes wrong for me i've decided what my next venture in life is gonna be and like i think i i can give myself to like 35 to figure my shit out and if i don't this is when i start going down this rabbit hole um but I think I want to be, like, a ninth grade teacher. Like, I'm not even kidding. Oh, like, that's really sweet. I actually think I do. I was watching this guy's TikTok today. Oh, and he I was talking that. about, like, his ninth graders. And, like, he posts a video every single day, like, after school, just talking about an event that happened. And, like, the amount of euphoria that I was, like, getting, like, thinking about, like, teaching a bunch of ninth graders and, like, them being mean to me. But then we have us having, like, a little rapport and, like, me having the kids that you, I so fucking hate. So you want to be bullied by, like, teenagers? No, no, no just like you know the fucking yeah I, I know like, what you mean also you have um boogers so so the motherfucker oh, okay. get the fuck away from and me how long did you let that go on for? like literally three seconds because i want i didn't want to cut you off oh i thought you rubbed it on her carpet <laughs> <laughs> um i used to want to be an english teacher when i was in ninth grade and that's what i thought i was going to do because i was like actually i don't think i'm going to make it into entertainment because i'm too annoying but then i thought about it i was like i would 100 percent go to jail for fucking hitting a kid like <laughs> let someone talk back to me like it, i would be those you know when you see videos of teachers and you're like why is this teacher going back and forth with a child it's so unnecessary and i feel that but then i think about it and like in that position i would go crazy like yeah teachers who deal with teenagers or middle schoolers are so brave but even people now i feel like um a bunch of teachers in like elementary school are talking about how gnarly kids are now and they're like but fuck dumb because they just want to be on tiktok and shit like i'm back <laughs> you didn't what are we to- talking about <laughs> We're talking about how dumb kids are. Oh now. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been seeing a bunch of videos too of teachers being like, "Oh, we're like fucked. Like yeah. it's never, ever, ever been this bad." And that's where I come in. Every generation says to that. Save just the the g- people on their phones and chat GPT. And 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 stuff? It's literally just like since everyone grew up in the pandemic, like on uh, online school and shit that like their reading levels are like four levels below what they should be and like it's just crazy but like i was saying that's where i come in to save the day you think you're I gonna be- in- make a generational change yeah i'm gonna raise how many like, schools some will geniuses. you be teaching at one but i'm oh. gonna raise some fucking geniuses like i'm gonna raise the people that are gonna change the world because that's all children are is the next generation you'll that's be able gonna to save the world because you grew up during the pandemic you yeah, I mean, yeah, you are only seventeen. Yeah, I like forget that a lot. I just hang around a Did lot of older people. Did you get to go to prom? Uh, no, actually, it was like during the pandemic, and it was really fucking sad. Dude, that is but really sad. I've just been hanging around like a lot of older people recently, and I do forget my age sometimes. And it's just like I need to like slow down, and like also y'all give me like hella fucking drugs. It's like weird. Like my well, brain that's isn't even we're developed. Being cool, and we'd rather have you do it at home than do it with like people we don't know. I'm not. No, we don't want you at some random house just like doing pills and shit. Yeah, we want you doing it here with us. Yeah, we'd rather you take a perk and play. I want Fortnite a perk so fucking bad. <laughs> Please. Please. The wallflowers be like your stocking, guys. The wallflowers maybe. be like. Don't even like fucking. Play no one cares. Cause what? 
You said, I want to perk so bad. And I said, the wallflowers be like. Oh, oh my God. That sucks. <laughs> the perks for being a wallflower. Yeah. Oh, I just got the it. The perks good. of being a wallflower. That's good as Yeah. Thank you. Um, thank you, guys. So y'all know that feeling? No. Like when you get home and like you didn't have to go to the bathroom, but like you're walking up the stairs to your apartment <laughs> or like you're walking through the garage door and like your body like senses somehow senses that like bathroom nearby i need to like unload like my piss now or i'll die like y'all have had that yeah, feeling, yeah, huh? yeah there's a name for it it's called the latch key incont <laughs> um that's not the word i just have a typo it's, it's but like it's, both words have a typo so it might be incontinence it's latch key incontinence maybe i could be wrong but there is that is like a universal experience for everyone where they like it's like something to do with like your mind like understanding that unlocking the door and walking up these steps and smelling this scent all means that there's a bathroom nearby that you're comfortable in and it's just like let's fucking evacuate now all that reminds me of is that video of that lady who was like anybody else's baby notice when they get back home and it's like her going down her driveway that's like cobblestone <laughs> and like <laughs> bumps like <laughs> the baby waking up but it's because it's like, <laughs> like that's the, the thing shower. i was talking about earlier the mom like uh <laughs> uh mom it starts with a d the mother delusion no 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 um fuck motherfucker i know what you're talking about, like how they think their baby is the cutest but they also think their baby is like the smartest yeah yeah what is that word someone like leave it in the comments because it's gonna drive me fucking insane um you were not gonna check the comments for that shit i literally will okay. oh i'll look it up for you right now drew i'll look it up right now oh thank God. you it's like dissonance is it mother's dissonance I don't know. I think dissonance is like, like cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance, I think, is when you like detach yourself from something. So I don't think it's mother's dissonance. Well, maybe Drew's mom had the dissonance. <laughs> she was, <laughs> Probably she, she had to give it to herself because she was looking at that <laughs> she thing. She was so scared of me. She had to disconnect. That's why there's a lock outside of your door. Your mom planted it because she was like, he'll know he's home. Yeah, they still, every once in a while, will just lock me in my room when I'm sleeping, which is so incredibly dangerous um jump out the window if all else fails it's only the second whatever floor. helps them sleep comfortably at night sure um wait your parents lock you in the house yeah okay. and you do i mean you deserve it so i get like i just had to take notes from them because i was like i honestly agree he like and share scared. take notes um i've never okay. been to a walmart so i oh you would you know, would know a, lot a lot about, about a walmart, walmart. <laughs> i don't know anything actually like you would know a lot about a walmart <laughs> you seem like a walmart expert. expert justin bieber walmart justin bieber <laughs> hmm. um okay I've had this note taken down for literally months. Stop reading my notes. For I'm real. literally not. I'm just like my caveman brain sees an iPhone screen and I'm just staring at it like open yeah. eyed, like practicing for school. I'm like, stop I'm reading my notes. I see you're wondering. <laughs> I'm literally notes. doing what I do when I go to a restaurant and I see a menu, like words mean nothing, and I'm just looking at something because my eyes are trying to like find something to entertain me because I'm so used to looking at something. Yeah, when you go to like dinner with like a new person and y'all are still like trying to figure each other out and like sniffing each other's asses, like just seeing what type of person they are like i do that only when i'm doing that no no matter who i go to a restaurant i will look at the menu and not look at it like i um, can't read it no when i'm like if i don't know the person and we're just like learning who we are like learning a lot about each other like i'll look at the menu as like this like safety barrier like a buffer yeah as like a buffer to the con conversation so i can like plan in my head how i'm gonna respond and what person i'm gonna be because i'm a fucking oh psycho I know. I'm, a, I'm a fucking psycho no Who i can't i fucking date someone i'm a fucking psycho i That's can you. i can literally change my personality on who i'm communicating with and y'all are jealous that's what you think is happening in your head like that's, <laughs> that's how drew is perceiving his social interactions but like drew is I'm the three same steps ahead <laughs> but he's the same person every time we're around new people like mm. I, I know the kind of person you when are when i'm with you i because i know the person i get to be when i'm with you but when i take meetings without you or i meet new people without you you don't know that i feel true. like you act like way more normal yeah I'm like way you more tap normal. into like it's a normal because, side like, of yourself you're not there to bounce off of yeah 
I have no buffer when I meet new people. It's actually a big problem. Like it's, <laughs> it's a huge crazy. problem. It's crazy. I will leave every social interaction being like, damn, I really dominated that room for no reason. Like, well, why did I do that? Mm-hmm. Um, but it's okay because people love me. Actually, everybody was replying to that close friends. It was like, do not change. We love you like that. Oh, I was like, oh, can I have reply? sex with you? No. Uh, see, did. I thought Salem was going to reply to that. I just thought I had like a female's intuition. When did you start calling women female? No. <laughs> um, but I've been meaning to talk about this for literally months. Um, it's just been in my notes for like a long fucking time. Oh, wait. Does this guy think I'm going to be meeting him at the door? Is this grinder or? Dude, the way you use your phone. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, he's three it's minutes so, away. so, so when, when I get the notification, I'll let one of y'all know. And then um, if you wouldn't mind. But. So I've been meaning to fucking talk about this for so goddamn long. And it's just been in my notes and then we just never get to it. And we might have already talked about it and I just am not remembering. Um, but hamsters. Like literally hamsters. Like they're crazy. Okay. <laughs> They're like little pandas. I'm actually going to lose my fucking mind. I think I'm like done. No, I'm actually starting to cry. Like, what are we doing? No, no, no. no I'm done. I have tears in my eyes. Too. I can't believe We both broke at the same time. No, no, like, that's it. Like, we were done. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the outro music plays. Oh my God, dude. Like,. Oh, God. <laughs> I was like, what? Let me I'm literally crying. Like, I'm quite literally crying. Like, I, I don't know what that just did to me, but like, that made me feel every like, like nerve in my body. And I like realized I was here and I, I felt the fire behind me. And I like, just You're welcome. came to. You're welcome. I grounded you. No, but I just more meant like how hamsters die really easily. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> Hamsters are the most abused pet ever. Like, I was people gonna give say, them to like a six year old and let them like fucking that's grab what them I'm and like throw them around their no, room. No, that's what I'm saying. They're like little small pandas, also, if you look at them. They like fall around, and you know, the videos are like pandas falling everywhere. But <laughs> what I recently found out, and I'm sure everybody already knows this and this was already fucking commenting it because they want to like get to the fucking punchline quicker than me because they're so much better than me. Oh my God. Um, oh, the food is literally here. <laughs> Oh my god, man, something's wrong with you. Um, but hamsters literally hibernate. They go into hibernation. I didn't know that. I know, no one fucking knew that. So like half of the time when Wait, kids you thought their Yes, when dead? kids thought their hamsters were dead, the parents thought they were dead too. They were literally in hibernation and we all just buried our hamsters alive. Yes, I know. That literally just gagged <laughs> Rain Rain. Is scared. Did you have a hamster? I was going to say, I feel like you fully had a hamster. And it was probably in hibernation. you killed your hamster. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You used to feed it pencils? (laughs) No, that's a vibe. Like, to chew on the wood. Like, I get it. I get it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just not the the lead. It's for the teeth. (laughs) the teeth. Um, Giving your hamster lead poisoning and being like, aw. Yeah. That's their favorite snack. Uh, But yeah, so a lot of people just were killing their hamsters because they were in hibernation and they didn't realize it. So a lot of y'all are murderers. And if you're worried about if you were going to hell or not, you for sure are now because you literally buried a creature Dude, alive. Ham- You're over. The same children who had hamsters when they were younger are like the equivalent to iPad babies. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's like that's like before there were iPads, you would give your kid a hamster to yeah. like go play with. Yeah, it was also like my parents' reasoning was like to like teach us that other things are alive and we have to like respect that. We had fish. But I um we had fish and then my brothers poured like three liters of coke in their fish tank one day and the fish like jumped out to survive and they just landed on the counter but i saved them okay and you okay. won an award yeah and i was really fucking young well, i we love it wait wait wait, wait, wait. let me let me let me finish the hamster thing real okay, quick okay. um you can get back on the couch one time i like before school my mom and dad got really pissed at me and my sister because we were like 
neglecting our hamster as like a seven a year old would. does. Like yeah. we weren't cleaning its cage properly. Like I know y'all's room smelled like fucking doo doo caca. I mean, like it literally, literally just straight up doo doo factory. It was hell, and we were like um, not taking care of it properly. So our parents were like very adamant, like clean this fucking critter's cage right now, or like you're grounded. So like. We started the cleaning process and like we put the hamster in the sink inside the cage with the door shut after we finished cleaning it because like we had to like clean the um the basin next and we just yeah. like didn't have enough time before school because it was just like whatever. Um, so we went to school and then we came home and um, my cat had snuck oh, into yeah. the bathroom of the where we were cleaning the hamster's cage and since the hamster cage was in the basin to like the sink the cat had accidentally turned on scorching hot water and it was on for literally like four hours and the hamster literally drowned inside the cage <laughs> and my brother like walked in and Your was like you can't see this experience fear factor yes you, like, and they were like you can't my brother was like you literally cannot see this like you you don't you don't want to see this it was a crime like, scene there was like police here. tape around drew's childhood literally, bathroom literally and my cat killed my fucking hamster and like it literally like it was in a cage like probably trying to escape like it was literally so sad i literally like cried for months over that fucking hamster because i was like wow like this is my fault it's natural selection literally like don't be a stupid fucking hamster if you're gonna yeah. drown like challenge. don't be like, born literally. a hamster if you don't want to be drowned by um, Drew's cat yeah but well, we had a sucker fish um and it was fucking huge like are they called catfish or sucker like the ones that like they're called plecos stuck to get stuck to the glass and they like clean the algae they're off the called glass. plecos are they? Yeah. Um, well, we had one of Don't those and ever. it got really fucking big and it was humongous and it died while my dad was at work. And like we, when our fish would die, we would like put them in the toilet and like oh, sit fuck. over and be like, bye and like flush the toilet. And I was like, oh, like we, we thought we big. were getting ahead of the curb. And I was like, oh, we're going to flush it. It was humongous. Like it literally was the size, like we could have eaten it. Like it was so big and we threw it in the toilet and we were like, me and my little siblings were like, oh, like. Yeah, it was one of those. And we were like, oh, my God, like, rest in peace. Like, we love you so much. You were amazing. And then we flushed the toilet. Bitch, that shit got stuck in the fucking pipes. <laughs> and my dad came home and was like, why isn't the toilet working? And we were like, um, I don't know. Like, I don't know what happened. Like, we haven't done anything. And then my dad took off the pipes just to find our fish stuck in the pipes. And my dad was oh, like, dude. who the fuck flushed the fish? I was Murdered like, y'all's fish. I was like, Murdered but, his no, it was dead. fish. As far as we were concerned, that shit was not moving for a long time. Dude, like, but if like, I was your dad, I would have been like, oh, wow, they killed my fucking fish. No, and yeah, my dad was like, why did y'all do that? Why didn't you wait till we get home? And we were like, we thought we were, like, getting ahead of it. We didn't want it to stink. That's sweet, though. Um, And then we all got in trouble because... Because he had to replace a bunch of the pipes because he had to literally saw one of the pipes in half because it like the mouth of it got stuck to like the <gasps> curve in the pipe. So he like took it out and was trying to get it out, but it was like stuck in there. Oh, that's so, we didn't so have a toilet dark. For a few days. That's so dark. And we all had to poop in the backyard. It was so weird. Um, okay, I do have a question for you. Did you ever like pray over your bed? Like, did you ever get on your yeah. knees and pray? I think you just called me Drew, by the way. No, I said a question for you. Uh, no, you said Drew, I have a question for you. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I didn't. You, literally, I swear to God. You Did I said, actually? Drew, I have a question for you. No, 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 no. I said dude or something. No, you said Drew because I was jarred because I was like, oh, are you setting me up? Like, you want me to ask you? Yeah, I used to like get That's down and weird. pray because I thought I was evil and I was going to hell because yeah. I was annoying. I, I, I was wrote like, a big note God. down <laughs> because like I would get over my bed and pray for just like real shit like pray for my family's health but then i would add in there like <laughs> i want to break a bone like can you just like give me a cast like can you break can i break a bone so i can get a cast or I like i kind of prayed like that recently not for a broken bone but like i was like bored as fuck and like, i was can down i have bad, a billion like, dollars or something i was shit? like down bad and i was like damn you know what fuck it like i'm dumb here and i literally <laughs> got down at my bed like the bed i have now and i was like this is a good prayer like mm -hmm. area and i like got down and i prayed every once in a while i'll do that yeah shit, right? every when now I'm, and then like, i'll pray when i have nothing else to give or to I'm like the love for. of my family and friends isn't doing it for me right yeah, now. I got I got to speak to a higher power. <laughs> literally, and it works. Yeah, I wake up the next day good every time. Um, but I remember specifically this one time. This is so gross. I don't even want to fucking say it. Did you like? 
<laughs> why did you? I, I, it's it's actually program. not gross. I, I just prayed to get pink eye because I was like, in my head, I was like, pink eye is the most lit fucking disease to get because like, um, I didn't know what it was at the time. You didn't know it came but from like, fucking doo-doo munch. You like, yeah, it literally exactly. came from doo-doo munch. You weren't mulch. like sick as a dog, but you got to stay home from school in my head. So I was just like, cool. Like, I want pink eye. The kids came to school with so pink, pink eye at my school eye. all the fucking time and they tried to hide it and they'd be like, why would you not want to stay home with pink eye? Well, like, I think most kids so weren't lit. like allowed to stay home because their parents had to work and whatnot. So boring, <laughs> boring. I got to stay home and eat chips <laughs> and ride in the golf cart. I literally, because like I grew up with like a single parent, I was not allowed to stay home with, when I was sick, so I would have to go to school. I remember one time my dad thought I was lying and I literally had thrown up everywhere in the office. I was like, I'm not making myself throw up, and he was like, he was like, did you kiss someone? And I was like what are we talking about i think i was in middle school and he was like i think you kissed someone and you got sick that, and i was, I was like you think i kissed someone today and immediately got <laughs> the sick the gestation and started throwing period up. Like, was like i have 20 the fastest minutes. moving metabolism ever yeah. the fastest turnover ever the most violent disease of yeah, and all then time my, but, and then my godfather was like bruh she did not kiss someone like she's definitely just sick and my dad was like not my end i don't know I don't know. I think she kissed someone. I, yeah. I was kissing bitches. You can but... get like mono from kissing. That's how I learned like what like kissing was because we had to like be taught what mono was. If you were like 20 and you got mono, you need to go to jail. Mm-hmm. You're but too old. Before we move on from that, I wanted to tell this really, really fucking nasty story about how when I got pink eye. I, I've probably already told it, but it's been enough time and there's probably a bunch of new listeners. But when I was really young, I was... I mean, I still have them and they just never figured out why. But like I would get like really gnarly constipated and like it would be like painful, like blockage. And then I would also get like anytime I would eat, I would get so nauseous that I would throw up. It, like and this went on for like four months and I like lost a lot of weight. And my you had parents a fucking were tapeworm. no, they literally don't know what it is. But so they were like, let's fucking go in and look. So I got like a colonoscopy when I was like 12 or 13 and i didn't know this at the time my parents didn't know this but they also scheduled me for an endoscopy so colonoscopy is up the ass endoscopy is like down the throat and then i woke up from this uh procedure with like a feeding tube in my nose that went down to my stomach to like measure my bile and like acid levels well anyways I woke up. Well, God from answered that... your fucking prayers, bitch. You want to stay home from school that bad? I know, literally. I and I had to carry like a pouch around that like measured like when I would have to like <laughs> click a button when I would eat. It was That's so like nerdy. Up from the Matrix. Yeah, it was so nerdy. It was so like so whatever. But if I was in your school, I would have popped that fucking bag. Yeah, literally. No, it wasn't like a pouch. It was like a big electronic brick that oh, I would like. Oh, you had a pager. Yeah, yeah, literally. But it was huge, and I had to carry it around like a fucking purse. I was so embarrassed, but. <laughs> Um, I like <laughs> what you got in that tote wait, bag. Wait, listen, listen, listen. I woke up from that procedure with the gnarliest pink eye of my life, meaning that they did not properly clean after my colonoscopy and gave me pink eye. When they and I don't know if they use the same fucking tube or what, but like that shit, it was the gnarliest like pink Ew. I've ever had. It was violent. Like I literally thought I was gonna go blind, and my parents I've... were like, "Oh, like." Must have been from the surgery, and I was like, <laughs> are, like I, I was like, your, wait, that's you crazy. You piss someone off, and they literally, after touching your butt, they fucking rubbed your eye. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> They're like this annoying ass kid keeps Madeline asking for fucking Madeline farted apple in sauce. my pillow. Madeline farted in my pillow. I only got pink eye once, and it was when I got COVID, and it was when that was like at the beginning of COVID, when they were like, oh, if you like randomly get pink eye or a sty, it can, and you are sick at the same time, it can be a sign of COVID. Mm. And I woke up with pink eye and then got a sty like the pink eye oh. went away almost immediately and then it turned into Girl, a sty i have bad news it's because you farted on my pillow no i didn't fart on your fucking <laughs> pillow i shit inside of it i ripped it open and shit inside the fluffing and it's still in there it's just like no well, i got new pillows and oh. i put my old pillows in your room so you've been sleeping on your shit Did that that backfired. <laughs> that backfired like well, crazy. That ain't go high plan. Um, but back to praying. I used to pray to be. Never mind. We're moving on. You were using God for weird reasons. Oh, 
It's kind of dark. You better keep praying. <laughs> you better keep it's praying. It's kind of dark. We should start praying for that together. <laughs> like tonight before we go to bed, we're on opposite sides please, of my bed. Like, please, please, please. <laughs> um, well, since we're on like medical That's literally topics. literally my New Year's resolution. <laughs> yeah, literally the same. Like, unironically, literally the same. Um, but since we're on medical shit, um, I really do think I have one really short leg and one like really <laughs> long leg. No, like, you I just think, walk like that. Bitch. I think one of my legs is like genuinely like a quarter or half Did of an inch. Did this stem from me saying you were hobbling around the house? I've always thought this. Like if you look back at my notes, I would just write it down <laughs> randomly because I was so like I can't like, stop hobbling. Literally, and I do have like such like a strange like cadence to my step and i uh, the only way i can explain it is that one of my legs is shorter than the other like by like a very no it's because you amount. spend too much time in your bed so your body has to reacclimate <laughs> yeah, to walking every like five my days my spine is stretching back out um but yeah i just wanted to get that off my chest um because it's really dark wait drew do you not know that one of your legs is six inches shorter than the other <laughs> no we put stilts on you every night so what? that you just wake up. We take them off at night, and then we put them back on. One of my balls is shorter than the other, but that's a classic oh, man nice. thing to be worried about. Yep. Yeah, like when you're like nine, and you're like, fuck, dude, like my balls, like I think I'm broken. One of them is like longer than the other one. And then you Google it, and you find out like, mm, it's normal. It's normal. You're just little with them. Remember that? Paul. <laughs> After Jimmy Neutron? Hi, I'm Paul. Hi, I'm Paul. When I, anytime I watched the old cartoons we grew up watching, I was like, this is why I'm so fucking annoying. Yeah. Like, they were so goddamn annoying. Mm -hmm. um, but they, yeah. Dude, that one fucking uh, why Billy and Mandy. Why is it a three-eyed monkey? Because uh, it's like Joe Rogan. Is that actually Joe Rogan's company? Yeah. Are you lying? Hi, I'm Paul. Is Joe Rogan's company. <laughs> no, it's not. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Okay. The other white no. guy has already clarified a... <laughs> for me because I wouldn't have known that. Um, um, no, but wait. you have a like a you have like a relative that's very young, right? Yeah. Do they and they watch cartoons or what do they watch? Like I've been YouTube wondering. YouTube Shorts. Okay, because they don't watch like SpongeBob and shit anymore, right? Mm, they do. Like, oh really? Yeah, yeah I think SpongeBob young kids still is watch still it. like the biggest but, like, cartoon. Where do ever. they watch it? Just on <laughs> YouTube? on TV, dude. I was watching like Disney one Plus of my... and stuff, like Harry's, like kids' cartoons. It, on, oh. They also like Direct TV, like cable boxes and shit, still run it. But I was watching m my nephew watch uh, SpongeBob. One, the new SpongeBob it is so fucking bricked. It fucking sucks yeah, balls. It's ugly like boots. it's be it's horrible. Like don't even get me started. But also. Like, it, it it was so crazy because there would be, like, a QR code, like, permanently oh, yeah, in yeah, the yeah. corner. Yeah, and then there would yeah. be, like, another little screen down here playing, like, an advertisement. And then, like, another little screen would pop up halfway through the episode and play, like, another cartoon. And then the corner down here would just have, like, a fucking cockroach run by. Like, <laughs> it was so weird. And I was like, damn, dude, like we are like down tremendously bad and it just reminded me of that like hyper reality like augmented reality video that like everyone was obsessed with for a little bit or it literally probably was just me but like there's like this video where it shows you like what augmented reality is going to look like in a few years and it was just like really freaky but it's like 10 years old now. like if you watch ren and stimpy it's crazy how slow the pacing of that show is and like all those older cartoons that we grew up watching the pacing is so slow even like the looney tunes from like 2009 like where it's like daffy and bugs bunny are living together i was watching that on Daft the plane Punk was in looney tunes yeah um oh. they were always in looney tunes Damn. they were looney tunes um but <clears throat> If you watch those now, like I was rewatching Ren and Stimpy because I was like, I loved it as a kid. I want to rewatch it. Or even like Pinky and the Brain, like all that older stuff Horrible we used to watch. Horrible fucking shows. It used to. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, Terrible. Oh my God. You Horrible. Might, okay. What did you like to watch? Porn. <laughs> you watched porn when you were like six? Duh. Okay. You didn't? That's uh, badass. Right? No, dude. That's like. That's like almost, uh, I, I would even say that's child abuse. That's cool. I watched mm -hmm. porn when I was six. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta start him young in macro Loser that, alert. Drew is, that's why he's addicted to macro, dose, uh, macro dosing porn now yeah, because he like yeah, was watching so much vibe. of it. Um, 
But like the pacing of those shows is so slow compared to newer shows. Like if you watch like a newer kids cartoon, something is happening every frame. There's like a loud noise or like it's super colorful. Like think about Coco Melon. I will never forget. Like I know <clears throat> a woman who had a baby like last year. Mm -hmm. And we were like, oh, it's when we were in the cabin. Oh. And she, she, I was like genuinely just curious because I have a bunch of cousins who like baby cousins who watch Coco Melon and shit. And I was like, oh, does your baby watch Coco Melon? And she said, that when she said good. this, it literally changed my mind about ch children's cartoon. And she was like, I genuinely believe that letting your child watch something like Coco Melon is like giving your baby LSD before it even has like cognitive reality and your baby will be like anticipating that kind of like intense attention and like quickness forever and it's going to be debilitating and I was you know, like oh my god like I I do believe that to a certain extent but like there are some good children shows that I'm like, damn, like that's really, it actually is like teaching kids something. Um, and it's yeah, specifically like Miss Rachel, like Miss Rachel, like, like there is literally video proof of my sister's daughter, um, like learning how to clap from the TV show that yeah. she's watching. And I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like the idea, like there's always been bad, like, Kurt the Cowardly Dog was not good for us. No, like, it was that show me was a so lot of freak shit, elite. Actually. Like it was literally so like existentialism core for children. And like things like that aren't That's necessarily that inherently good for kids. But there are shows like fucking Blippy. Like the fact that that Blippy guy Dude. got away with like shitting on someone, putting I, it no, online, and then just talked turning. about that yet. Yeah. Dude, Blippy literally did. There used to be this video going around of the Harlem Shake, but Blippi, who is a child show, like, um, kids show, like, host. You know Blippi. You've seen him in Walmart and shit. He did the Harlem Shake Challenge, but then when the drop happened, he, him and his homie got butt-ass <laughs> naked, and ha he had his homie spray him with shit out of his butt. So there's video and of Blippi find it. getting shit all over. I screen uh, saved it because Blippi and his team do everything in their power to erase that video from the internet because it is really gnarly and it's like maybe the most horrifying and disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. And the fact that he's like a child show host is crazy to me, but... I believe people also because can I don't, but I believe people could change, but I don't think it comes from like an actual real place of giving a fuck about teaching children or anything. Because I remember, oh, when he's he first getting started, his fucking bag. Yeah, literally, I feel like that's the big problem. Is like we all know, like now that children have so much access to media, like <clears throat> it used to be reversed. Like you used to have to really have a craving and a want to be within children's education in media and entertainment. And it was like so sparing that you were actually making something that was like teaching children something because nobody wanted to put money into it because there was this idea that kids shouldn't even be in front of the TV. So why the fuck would you put money into it? And now we all know that children literally have access to iPhones and iPads by the time they're three years old. So there's so much money in putting a screen in front of a baby's face. So so many people make children's content because the bag is endless because children also children's rewatch value like imagine how many times we were sitting and throwing on a vhs like 18 times in a row like bitch i would watch fucking. I, what is a vhs oh i forget i keep forgetting you're 17 yeah i don't know what that shit so is. A, v a vhs is like this old timey like idea of like it was kind of like film panels it was almost like you know like boring old... give okay. me an ipad yeah sorry give me my ipad okay i'll give it to you do you want do you actually need it now okay we'll cut yeah, we have to cut for to get his iPad. Okay, Drew, we're how back. old how old are you at this point? Thirteen. Oh, you're thirteen. Drew now. regresses. Because I feel like a couple years ago you were sixteen. He ages really slow. Okay. How does this sound? That sounds good. That sounds good. It sounds like the ocean waves crashing. How does this sound? <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds really good. Well, that's it for the Christmas episode. I hope you guys have an amazing holiday. Whatever you celebrate it, you celebrate it to the fullest and get so drunk with your family and hopefully someone cries because that's what Christmas with your family is about. Somebody will cry and you will most likely be the therapist for your family. And if that's your job, kudos. Yep. You're doing uh, the best you can. If you're a boy, hide in your room, play on your PS5, <laughs> Fortnite, don't interact with any of your family members because you're Ignore the fucking the fuck bro. Out of them. And you're you better get boy. high as fuck and get scared of your whole family. Yes. Uh, no, genuinely enjoy your family time. I think we need more family time. Am I the only one who thinks family is back in? 
family, like is gonna be, family is going to be family is going to be back in a That's big way. That's our trend forecast for 2024. I think family is back. No, literally though. Like yeah. it fucking better be. Um, but <sighs> let God. me do a Drew psyop. I only have one today. Oh my God! Wait, we have one that's in the email. Oh really? I think so. Um. Well, I'll do this one. Um. I put myself in your shoes, and now my feet fucking stink. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. All right. <clears throat> oh wait, here. Let's see. Y'all be eating lamb chops for attention. Them hoes taste like <laughs> missing people. <laughs> Y'all are eating lamb chops for attention. Them hoes taste like missing people. Uh, shout out, um, Anissa. A N N yeah Anissa I S A Anissa period <laughs> that is really fucking funny oh my god <laughs> that's how I feel about like oh eat goat too like that shit literally tastes like fucking dirt roads oh wait here's another one from Janine 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 before you Janine. gossip about me rub your coochie and sniff <laughs> your hand sis oh, wait wait this one's from Janine. <laughs> Before you gossip about me, rub your coochie and sniff your hand, sis, because you got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Joe Biden said that. Whoa. Yeah. If Joe Biden said that, I would re-vote for him. Yeah. That's how Joe Biden could get my vote back. I really don't fuck with him right now, but I'm not kidding. If he got on the podium, I'd be like, fuck, I got to give it to him. <laughs> Guys, I really do read your PSYOP corners. I'm not going to read your middle and last names because I don't want to dox you, but Janine, right? Yeah, Janine. Y'all that shout was awesome. out. Y'all y'all came in clutch. Um I feel like I found one that I wanted you to to read. Oh no, I didn't find one. I wanted to Jolene, show you this that Tyrell showed Jolene, me. Jolene, Jolene. Da, 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 y'all like lobster? <laughs> <laughs> Are those isopods? Um, no, they're lobster, but somebody like cut them up and tried to present them nicely, but they look like roaches. Literally, they're literally like big a roach. ass roaches. We'll That's insert the picture for y'all. Um, all right. Damn. Well, oh, wait, here's some media of the week. Media I just did my media yesterday. Week. So, um, my media of the week is Telephone Line by Electric Light Orchestra, Folk Song by The Sundays. Um, 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 before the day breaks, Robin Guthrie. Guthrie. Robin Guthrie. And Use Your Heart, SWV. Hey! Mine is a book this time. <sighs> Boo. Spotify added audiobooks, and you actually can use them now. It was like for a long time you couldn't use them. And I started listening to The Year of Magical Thinking by Joan Didion. Oh, I need to uh, read that. <clears throat> Damn. Damn. Uh, that shit's really fucking good. I think I'm going to listen to the Song of Achilles next because I'm like, I heard a lot of good shit about that one. And then Norwegian Wood by Murakami. Um, those are my three in rotation. I also have Homo Deus and Homo Sapi or Sapiens in the log just because I love fucking those books so much. Should I go to like my very first playlist like, oh, I have I'm a so playlist curious. on um, that I made, like, probably a decade ago at this point. And it's, oh, let's do it, waka flaka, <laughs> collared green, schoolboy Q, a tale of two cities, J. Cole, I am a god, blood on the leaves, I'm in it. I was obsessed with Jesus, dude. Uh, pipe it up, Migos. Oh my god, Azizi Gibson, this song. I'm not gonna play it because we ran into copyright issues. Me and my homies, we called ourselves, it was so cringy. We called ourselves Snoop Squad and we would buy a bunch of snacks and then get inside one of our homies' trucks and literally turn on his blue lights, 
play that song on fucking repeat and get absolutely fucking obliterated on weed. <laughs> like literally get the highest we've ever been. And then I would just like walk home because we were like smoking in this like section in my neighborhood. But they would have to drive home and I don't know how none of them fucking died because we were like zooted and fucking booted. Like it was zooted scary and booted. boots. Well, um, my first playlist on here isn't from that long ago because I started this account in like early 2020 and it's intimate erica de cassier i can't say her name ever carnival the cardigans one thing amiri devotion by tirza lifetime by eve's tumor know who you are at every age cocktoo twins it's a bunch of cocktoo twins it's a bunch of slow dive catch the breeze it's like literally me trying to like set up like my spotify with just songs i liked at the time my, and kitty cat by beyonce mine is my next one is actually so advanced Oh, God, not that fucking song. But my next one is just called Literally, and it's Fish Shopping, Sophie, Lemonade, Sophie, Vise, Sophie, Pony Boy, Sophie, That's Blip, awesome. Sophie, Hard, Sophie, MS, 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 uh, Sophie, then Hey Cutie, and then a bunch of Hannah Diamond. Remember when we would listen to Hannah Diamond on SoundCloud? I fucking love Hannah Diamond. Dude, Hey Cutie is one of the best hey cutie. songs yeah. from that era. But it's the don't. Um, well thank you guys so much for listening i hope you enjoyed the last few days of this year and be safe yeah. peace and love on earth and more uh may all your wishes be granted uh unless they're evil hug your siblings or your parents or whoever you're with this holiday extra tight and tell them you love them 